This is Twit. One of these, Rob, Rob has two things. One of these I'm actually super excited for, and the other is eh, kind of meh, but that's yeah. all right. Take yeah. it away, Rob. I, I know Jonathan hates when I talk about AI on the show, but it just keeps creeping in, you know, every show, because uh, it just keeps creeping in to open source more and more. And so, yeah, a couple of interesting projects this week week uh, have uh, added AI to them, and those are FMMPEG and only office so to start the upcoming ffmpeg 8.0 library uh, adds a whisper audio filter for making use of openai's whisper model for providing automatic speech recognition and transcription capabilities whisper is a highly capable automatic speech recognition model trained on a large data set and will be able to uh, be enabled with the uh, dash dash enable dash whisper uh, flag. Uh, you know, Ken always likes to bring us uh, FMMPEG command line tips. So maybe he will demonstrate this one for us in one of his uh, future tips. Write that down, Ken. Uh, we'll want to see uh, this one in action. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's one Jonathan's interested in. But there's another one. Uh, with the uh, only Office, uh, while Microsoft, you know, adds Copilot to its Office products on Linux, you know, they add to there for a small licensing fee. Here on Linux, only Office is adding AI tools into its suite, uh, included in the base price of free. Well, okay, maybe not exactly. It depends what you tie it into because it's very flexible and it's going to allow you to tie up multiple things. So currently in beta, the latest AI agent lets users type natural language commands directly into the editors. The AI agent plugin supports multiple AI providers and can run both in the cloud and locally. And you can even add custom functions to fit your needs. So I guess it depends which provider you use there. Maybe you tie it in with a paid one. Maybe you don't. But uh, that's up to you. So some some use cases like uh, in in the documents editor, you could generate text, rewrite selection or selected content, uh, explain parts of a document in the comments, or apply formatting. In their slideshow presenter, AI can add new slides, insert shapes and labels, change slide backgrounds, and create charts or diagrams from raw data. Or in the spreadsheet editor, AI, uh, with AI, you could summarize data from uh, pivot tables, apply filters, sort columns, and build charts and diagrams. If you want to try it out, make sure you have only Office 9.0.4 or newer. Then go to Plugins and then Plugin Manager and install the AI Plugin 2.4 or newer. And once installed, activate it through plugins and then go to background plugins and then go to AI tab settings. Uh, and then under edit AI mo models, uh, click the plus icon to choose your preferred provider from the list. So, so there is a limited amount. I haven't installed. I don't know what that list is, but enter your API if, if your provider requires it and click update models list. You will then see a list of models to choose from, uh, select one and click OK. So Jonathan, stop fighting the AI overlords. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. <laughs> I will be assimilated. So <laughs> I, I, I love Whisper and FFmpeg. I think that's going to be super useful. I will, if that, if I can make it work, I will use that, right? Because I create a, uh, um, uh, I, I do the the text to speech, uh, or excuse me, the speech to text for Floss Weekly, and we do a transcript of that. And so, like, if it has the ability to differentiate between the different speakers, I will totally use that and dump the closed source product that I'm using now. Just out of curiosity, Jonathan, what version of FFmpeg are you currently running? Um, let's see, because I just checked in with my Ubuntu Studio, it's seven dot one dot one. I mean, on the laptop here, it's 4.4.2. Uh, 
Um, but that's that almost OS, right? Or, yes. Yeah. Um, I am more and more thinking that I need to upgrade to Fedora on this Pop! OS laptop. Um, I'm putting Cache it's... OS on my laptop. I got I got a friend at work who uh, he he kind of helps with some of the Kubuntu packaging. Oh, cool! And he's really impressed with uh, Cache how nice. it's working. Um, on on the desktop behind me, which is a Fedora system, that's seven point one point one. So, so yeah. but more modern. So yeah, I think the, go, on. go ahead, Rob. I was going to say, you know, I think the Whisper stuff is cool, but I don't really do anything with that. Uh, so it really won't serve me much. But I think the only Office stuff, I know Jeff has told me he does stuff like this too, where, you know, he'll have something in a document and they'll take it over to AI. And well, at least I do. I, I know exactly what his process is, but, you know, I'll have <laughs> something and I'll want it to be a, uh, grammar checked or written better or something i'll throw it in it's like write this better for me whereas mm -hmm. it'd be nice with only office i could do it in place right there without copy pasting dropping it in and and you know doing all that stuff yeah i mean i i do i do resist letting the the <laughs> robot write anything for me um i've i've not gone down that road yet i'll let it look at my source code that's fine but i don't let it actually write any of my prose uh, I, one thing I use uh, it. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, I was gonna say I I use it to not only take documents and check it, and you can you can have it write your prose, and you can also I mean sometimes it gets pretty uh, highfalutin English, you know, it kind of <laughs> flowery. But you can say you know put it in a standard tone or whatever, and you know you always double check it because it sometimes will take a left turn and you go, whoa, where I, that is not what I said, but it, but it helps with a lot of grammar and vernacular. But the other thing is you can take a document that has several items and you can go summarize this and build me a PowerPoint and it'll throw it in. And it's probably 60, 70% there. You got to go in and fix some things and rearrange, but mm -hmm. the framework is there and it saves you a bunch of like formatting and laying out. And yeah, I suppose. So yeah. It, it it's does, actually It does put handy. the commas in the lot. right place. Is it what? It does put the commas in the right place. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, you've got, you've got to, you got to double check it, but it's faster to read it and double check it than it is to write it from scratch. It depends Jeff, on you, whether you you're an Oxford comma man. You call that yes, a PowerPoint? Your, your Windows yeah. side is showing there. You're letting your Windows. <laughs> well, show. that's what that's what I have to use at work. <laughs> uh, now, Rob, I just want to <clears throat> clarify because I didn't hear you cover emphasize this, but I noticed Sarav in his article does emphasize this is an in development feature. Use it with care. I mean, that's yes, true. It is still it's, basically it's all AI at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I, I find AI is wrong a lot of times, but a lot of times it, it gets you partway there and gives you kind of a head start. And, you know, and, and I do use it. And I, I will say it's I cannot talk about where it's used outside of just the normal office products. Sure. Now, well, make, make sure your document is backed up before you select it and say, rewrite this. Yes, this is <laughs> yeah. true. Actually, make a copy of your document before selecting and rewriting. That would be called backing up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the thing I make the, two copies. Yeah, the thing I love the most though is you can see people and they just have fun with it and they're like, "Why does AI use so many em dashes?" And the AI will use em dashes in its response. Can you reword this without using any em dashes? And the AI uses em dashes in its re the, the double dash, right? That's what an em dash is for whatever reason. AI loves it, and it's like. You still use, and they, I find it endlessly humorous because the AI response is, oh, you're right, I did use an EM dash in that. Let me rewrite that without using one, the EM dash. It's like, ah, it's hilarious. It's Another such. good one is, uh, please summarize my work week in a comedy roast format. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I've, I've had to do things like that. Like I'll say, no, you're, that's not, not right. Uh, try it again. And, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm not right. And they'll give me the exact same answer. Yeah. Or sometimes it'll say, no, I've had it say this too. It kind of surprised me. It's like, no, this is the right answer. I don't know why you don't think it's not right. <laughs> they'll just disagree <laughs> with me. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Pretty dang sure. <laughs> if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. 
See you there.